What's up everybody, Nick Slizzler here, and the reason I'm whispering is because I'm actually on the phone with PlayStation right now. I'm still on hold, but um, I'm going to talk to them about not being able to download a game from the PlayStation Store that I was able to buy on PS3 that has a copy for PS4. I kind of already know what they're going to say, but I'm still going to I'm still going to record it and see what happens. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you do, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. See, here they are right here. I might be on hold for a while, so I'm just going to keep recording until I'm not on hold. Or no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip to when they answer, so I'll see you guys there. It's taking forever! Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. How'd you escape from that ball? Your health is literally so low. So, I just realized this, and I, I need some clarification here. I purchased uh, Diablo 3, The Reaper of Souls, on my PS3, and I just realized that my PlayStation account wants me to purchase it for my PS4 as well. Is that normal? Okay, so basically you bought a Diablo 3 on your PlayStation 3, it's all be correct? Yes. And now, the same account, you have the same account on your PlayStation 4, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's try to double check something here, sir. Can you please tell me what is your online ID and also the email address for your account? the game in both of the consoles, correct? Yeah. Okay, and you haven't purchased it for PlayStation 4? No, I... For PlayStation 3? Yeah, I thought, I thought like, um, when you had your PS4, your games got transferred as if you bought them digitally. And, you know, both, and they were available okay. on both consoles anyway. So you only bought Diablo 3 for PlayStation 3, and now you have it there available for PlayStation 4, but you haven't buy it, uh, bought it, correct? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. One quick second, please. So let me try to double check this one second. You know, I understand that there are some developers that if you purchase a game for PlayStation 3, they just go ahead and give it to you for PlayStation 4 as well. So maybe that's the case with this one. So let me try to double check that for you. Okay. And let's see. And when did you realize that you had the game? On the PlayStation 4? Um, like, I was I was looking for a new game to buy just a little while ago, and I came across Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls, and I was like, oh, I remember purchasing this game. This game was fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna download it and play it again, and then I went to download it, and it said that I have to buy it for $59.99 again, and that's exactly how much I paid on the PS3, too. Oh, so you're being asked to buy it again. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, now I understand you. Well, actually, sir, um, in this case, um, basically, when you purchase a game for PlayStation 3, remember that the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 licenses are different. So, it, it will be decision of the developer if they want to allow you to get the PlayStation 4 license for free if you bought the PS3 version, or if they will go ahead and, you know, just sell the game again to you. So, uh, if you're being asked to buy it again, that means that the developer, in this case, if I'm not mistaken, it's Blizzard, they just decided to sell it for this price uh, in order to get the PlayStation 4 license. You know, but in this case, yeah, this is not the decision of PlayStation. Basically, this is the decision of the developers if they would like to allow you to play the game on a new platform or if they will go ahead and sell it, you know. So, so it's basically just Blizzard being an asshole. <laughs> not to not to put it in a bad way. I'm sorry. I said not 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 to like you know I'm not I'm not the I'm I understand completely that it's not your guys' decision it's not your fault I'm just saying that's kind of that's kind of messed up on Blizzard's part that they would do something like that. Yeah, I totally understand. You know, in this case, you know, if you want, I have the contact number, so maybe you can try to contact them and see if they. You know, have any special offer, or if that you can prove that you have the game for PlayStation 3, they can provide it with any code in order for you to get it. You know. Yeah, let me let me take so, that number down real quick. Let me find something to write it down on. Uh -huh. I know I have a pen, but my my drawer is pretty messy, so it might take me a second to find one. Don't worry, I understand you. It happens to me, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Okay, what was that number real quick? Alright guys, so basically what happened right there was uh, he was a lot cooler than I thought he was going to be. Uh, he, he agreed with me that Blizzard was an asshole for that. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm hoping that if I call Blizzard and, and talk to them about this that they would actually do something about it. Highly doubt it. I really do. Um, they're just trying to make their quick bucks. Which they're not actually being assholes for. I understand completely. You know, you're a company. You got to make money. That's that's what it is. Like you're a company. You can't just be handing out free stuff all the time. I understand that. I'm a little upset that I might have to pay $120 for the same game just because it's on a different console. But it's technically the same console. But uh, anyway, yeah, that guy was really cool. I muted my mic during all the moments that there was personal information or anything like that being given out so uh that's cool um as you guys can tell i was on hold for a very long time but that's also normal with playstation if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe huge shout out to the playstation guy right there i didn't release his name but uh he he handled that very professionally and i appreciate that uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, like I said, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, this is Nick Slizzler, and I'm signing out. Peace!